All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akhakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, and all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, a black swan event is a negative, extreme event. That's unpredictable. But the thing about the black swan event. The black swan event deals with world finances. So I'm allowed this woman to speak. Put my little two cents in and then get a couple of scriptures and. Lord willing be edifying. Oh, mine's a little dark. I just feel a lot of concern that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. This is a national security event with high impact that's very hard to predict. Um, there are a number of cons uh, concerns that I have that factor into that. And not only this uh, sort of enduring heightened threat level that we're facing, uh, the wars in Israel, also Ukraine. And we're so divided in this country in ways that we haven't seen before. And I think that just creates fertile ground for our adversaries like North Korea, China, and Iran. And that's... Now you see... North Korea, China, and Iran, and um, also Russia. Every time that they mention those four countries, it always talks about cyber attacks, which is the EMP. So um, we understand that you still got the MOTB, Revelation 13 and 16, the digital implant. You got the EMP, which will cause life to stop like going back to the 1600s with no technology you know um if an emp hit right i don't think people understand the magnitude of that so you had like a little test run like a couple of days ago with um coverage of cell phones went out um certain um cell phone providers you know went out Thousands of people was, was with, um, without coverage for a while. So they just test running, but people was bugging out. And, um, you know, this is, I really believe this will be the year of the Black Swan event, which is a negative event that you can't predict. It's unpredictable. But here's the thing. They the one that's causing the Black Swan event. That's what people don't understand. These elites, the scripture says that the earth was given into his hands. He's orchestrating this member. They gain order out of chaos. That's the way that they do. And that would be a very chaotic uh, situation if, you know, an EMP happened. And it ain't an if it's going to happen. But I got to speak that way. But um, so. EMP happens. Whole life stop. Everything is on the electronic grid. Banking is done. Heating and cooling is done. Transportation is done. All the infrastructures is done. If you got food in the refrigerator, freezer, that's done. That's going to be spoiled. How your stove going to work? So you can't say, well, I'm a, I'm a you know, you, you set a fire, right? try to cook all your food at once. You're not going to like it, it. It's so much stuff that will happen. So let's watch this again. What uh, concerns me most? Well, mine's a little dark. I just feel a lot of concern that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. Mm -hmm. This is a national security event with high impact. That's very hard to now remember. Um, we just had a national security threat with Russia basically about to um do a cyber attack so yeah man this is this is serious and and i can honestly say famine and uproars of the people you know all of that all it takes is for an emp do you understand if an emp go people gonna bug out people ain't gonna know which way to turn because if you don't have your how will how will shy you're through so People are going to take matters into their own hands. Americans can't even not eat for two hours. So imagine a whole day. 
Imagine a whole day without internet, without lights, you know, and it's not going to last a day. Like all the people, all the insiders, because these are insiders who be making these videos. How the hell they know this, right? So these insiders are always talking about three months to nine months. And then they said nine months, you'll be able to kill 90% of the population in America. So, yeah, th this is what they want. This is why the Lord said he will have to shorten the days. Dick. Um, there are a number of cons uh, concerns that I have that factor into that, and not only this uh, sort of enduring heightened threat level that we're facing, uh, the wars in Israel, also Ukraine, and we're so divided in this country in ways that we haven't seen before, and I think that just creates fertile ground for our adversaries like North Korea, China, and Iran, and that's what uh, concerns me most. Well, mine's a little... And don't forget about America being invaded. You got all these nations over here ready to go. So I'm just going to read this set of scriptures. No, I think that's first Thessalonians. Let me see. Uh. <clears throat> so it said, but at the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you because we've been telling you for a long time, especially our apostles and elders that, you know, these things will come to pass. Chaos, confusion, famine, civil wars, you know, class wars, all of that is going to happen. And it said for you, for yourselves, know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. It says we, it won't come as a thief in the night unto us, but it will come as a thief in the night unto the rest of the inhabitants of the world. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Because what do the news do? The news always give you a sense of security and peace. Hey, they did it with the serpent oil that people had to take. You know, so they, they did a hell of an advertising, you know, for the serpent oil and how it was going to help you. So guess what? That was peace and safety right there. And every time, you know, they always like even with the national security threat, if you watch my video, you had news clips talking about, don't worry, we got it under control. The people don't need to worry. And as the scripture says, then sudden destruction coming. You can't believe the devil. But ye brethren, not in darkness that the day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light. And the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. And, you know, I really love this. You know, Satan, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I can speak for most brothers. So, like, the scriptures is repetitive. Prophecies is uh, repetitive. So, Satan tried to get into your mind, like, oh, I don't even want to do it. I'm tired of repeating myself. I'm tired of, you know, basically making the same kind of video, stuff like that. So, you know, Satan would attack your mind that way. But guess what? These things have to go out because the Lord is making sure that people are without excuse. How many countless uh, Revelation 13 and 16 videos have been over the years? How many counselor, uh, countless videos of, you know, the economy about to crash? Uh, World War Three is going to be the war to end all wars. Uh, famine. You know, uh, we, we always go into second address 15 and 16, how, to, how it says woe unto the world, the, you know, the beginning of death, the beginning, the beginning of mourning, you know, the beginning of famine, you know, so these things are repetitive, but you can't say you're tired of it because when these things hit, if you are a man or a woman who are able to receive this word. Now you took heed to it. Now you know what to do. Now you know how to escape that time. Ain't nobody going to be talking about when that time hit. Dang, man. All they talked about was this. When you in the midst of it, now you're trying to figure out how to survive. You're trying to figure out how to get out of this bad time. And you ain't going to get out without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So I'll say, you are the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor in darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So while we're watching and being sober, we're, re we're repetitive in the message. 
The Bible don't change. The word don't change. The message don't change. So the prophets ain't going to change. The scripture says in Proverbs 24 and 21, meddle not with them that are given to change. So you could, you could bring different perspectives, but the conclusion of the matter is the same. So I could do a video on EMPs all week and bring different perspectives, different scriptures, but the scriptures is just the same story told over and over prophecy. It's the same story told over with different perspectives, different similitudes, different symbolism. That's all it is. Dark. I just feel a lot of concern that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. So that's what I really hope. I really hope because from January and now we in February, the Lord been turning up these prophecies, man. So it says for they that sleep in the night and they that are drunken are drunken in the night because we are in night right now. We are in captivity. And you got people turning up in captivity. The night represents the opposite of the kingdom. All right. We are in the valley of shadow of death. But you got people who are living in mirth and don't care about what the hell we talking about. But let us who are of the day be sober, put on a breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet of the hope of salvation. For the most high have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And if you don't have Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're not going to make it. Who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you all do. All right. So, you know, this is another, you know, prophecy that's going to come to pass. A black swan event will come to pass. And there's so many ways that the black swan event can come to pass. So it can start off with. Inflation getting so high to the point that people cannot afford anything. The banking crash, uh, uh, famine, uh, this this America being invaded right now, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. All right. Being invaded right now by foreign troops. So it could be a terrorist attack. So there's so many things that could happen with this black swan event. Everything is in place. Everything is in place. So that's why we got to stay prayed up. And all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Vashai and Shalom.